I'm Tefana Irvin with the Foundation for Tacoma Students and we support the Graduate Tacoma Movement to help every child achieve success from cradle to college and career. We have four collaborative action networks of which one is the Out of School and Summer Learning Network. This network is comprised of 25 community-based organizations in which more than half of them are direct program providers. More importantly, they focus on increasing equitable access to quality programming while using data at the center for all decision-making practices. Summer learning is really important for preventing summer slide. There's this 10 to 11 week time frame in the summer where the first thing everybody wants to do is get outside and run around and play. And at Metro Parks we think that's important, but we sneak in learning with that as well so that while children are away from the school, they're still stimulating their brains, they're still keeping engaged, and they're still building either social emotional learning skills or even skills that will help them with academic success so that they don't fall behind, they actually get ahead. Let's look at two children, one from a middle-income family, the other from one of the millions of low-income American families. As the two kids head off to kindergarten, look what happens. The middle-income child starts out with a six-month lead. The low-income child is already falling behind because of a lack of access to early reading and preschool education. During their year in kindergarten, in the same school and classroom, the two children will learn at about the same rate, so we'll move them both forward nine months. But look what happens in that first summer between kindergarten and first grade. Our middle-income child moves ahead about a month in reading because learning of one kind or another continues over the summer. The low-income child falls back about two months so when school begins again, when they go back for first grade, the gap between them has already widened. 